Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice a year. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch Fulke do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am. I know my destiny. And you will not hinder me! Brother, forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Cheer, one and all. Today is a day of celebration. Our Jarl is with us. Tonight, let us drink and eat in honor of his return. And now, I will delight you with a poem in praise of the man, a new composition. Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. Secret gone. What see you, old friend? There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. But he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out, but... Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am, 
And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend returned to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. It seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. Good day! What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he is barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. I want to see the Alliance map. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Petra, eh? Couldn't ask for a better match for my sister. You treat her well. Impressive. Never seen anything like it. I've refreshed my stocks. I have something that may interest you. 
I could really use this. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> I'm looking for this. This will help us. We always have need for this. Good. This will help the settlement. Bringing me this would be helpful. Excellent. I'd pay well for this. This will be a great help. We always have need for this. Good. This will help the settlement. Done for now. I must take my leave. So long. Say hi to Petra if you see her. Life in the rough, in the company of friends, sitting but You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skald come to join us. Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no skald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. You are talking with him now, and you are. Ah, oh, by God's blood, my day begins with a lash of good fortune. I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of a shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the ruin. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that... I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up.
They will attack on side here. Watch my lead. if you can.
myself here. Survey the area, Sudan. So this is Hunwald's safe haven. Though we be a mercy in Shire today, tomorrow the kingdom of Lindsay will rise again, as free as the wind on... Hunwald, who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Hunwald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunwald, I don't know your friend here, and not knowing him... I don't trust him. I'm his voice of reason, Eivor. And I've told him a thousand times it's too dangerous for him in Lincolnshire. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! All right, a quick brawl to get familiar with the local dregs. <coughs> Nothing welcomes us more into the day than a swift breeze. Is this what it means to be your friend? Humboldt! Don't Clear out, all of you, before you kick up a fire! Jesus, my bones are aching. Could you use a dip in the sea? Shut your hinge, chill. And stop dripping blood in my hall. I told Humboldt to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Did you hear that scream? It sounded like Humboldt. He went out that side door. Hunwald is in trouble. Blake. Leave him be! Jesus! He brought us bloody Dane! The oh, same word, the silver day's praying us. Pruned within an inch of my life. But I will survive. I must continue as you would, Eivor. And if I should expire, avenge me. Yes. 
say? Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottleston will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it now to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? Look, boats there! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky. Mercy and soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death, hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right. He's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane lady love. Right. City of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. If they see me, this will get messy. Mercian guards everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow Walker. I 
heart beats like the drums of your dragon boat. This town was your home? It was, and should still be. And to see it now fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I won't have to skulk around this town with my face in. I will walk proudly among the people I love. How was your father the last time you saw him? He was quite poorly. But he has the heart of a lion and a I have barely enough silver to buy paint from those. How did the place I once called home look so alien to me now? So harsh and unwanted. Fear not, Lincoln. I shall make you mine again. Reagan hair, body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Have you looked for him? Oh, I dare not go asking after him, for fear of stepping above my caste. But he'll be in good hands, don't you worry. Up there with the abbess and her sisters and all. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Who was that fellow? Reagan hair? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place. And he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but no worth one has heard every the inch of his song. What's happened? Lord Hunbior is surely fighting the Danes to the north. No, no. He's made a pact with them. There's peace now. We've heard enough, friend. No, that can't be true. Are you no shame? What I do? Soon in, guide me.
Overmoed, mijn laren zijn net goed. Lincoln seems a good place to trade. The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread, poultry, and field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servants purchased them. Lincoln's boon was ours as well. How often did you leave your house, Hunwald? Oh, from time to time. Yes. Show me what lies ahead. sent for warning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I'm not the Dane he's been plowing, and I don't own a farm. I know you mean well, Bishop, but there's no cause to insult Swanborough's honor. You leave my lady love out of this. Ah, your mystery Dane has a name. Sadly, the people of the Shire will hardly be comforted. Now that you have swelled your father's tolerance for pagans into a sin... I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbior, that is all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Hunwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. Hunwald has seen the point of a dagger more than once this week. I'm only here to protect him. Your father was at my hospice for some days, and very well treated. But he left in secret. That's all we know. In secret? That's odd. He's not one to scurry about in the dark. I'm sorry, Hunwald. We have searched high and low for him, but to no avail. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. 
stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Cornwall's father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Jammed. Need to get on the other side. Are you the head sister? Please, don't hurt me. These poor souls need me. Calm, sister. Lord Hunwald sent me. He asked me to speak with the people here. Hunwald? That's not a name I expected to hear again. No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins, just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care.
Guards here are vigilant.
must be careful now. Get away from me, damn it! Stop! <laughs> 